Real estate is a roller coaster. It doesn't take long to figure that out, does it? Here is a really good story for you that talks about the highs and lows of my week that happened. This happened a couple weeks ago. I was making calls one day and I connected with a seller who was selling a piece of land. The seller told me that they wanted to sell the land still. He told me that they were not going to be using the agent they listed the land with before. It was an expired listing. And when I asked them why they wanted to sell it, trying to determine motivation, they said, you know what? I need the money. I want to cash out. I said, great. The only thing is, I don't really know that much about selling land. I don't really know anything. I haven't sold a piece of land before. As a new agent, I like to partner with agents that have the experience that I'm seeking so that I can learn from them. I located an agent in my market that is very proficient and very successful at selling land, reached out, introduced myself. Hey, do you think we could partner on this. I've got a motivated seller. I'd like to help them sell this land. Can we do this together? They said yes. And that was like perfect. I wanted to share with you guys exactly how many contacts I made. So here are my notes. So my first contact with the seller was a phone call. They picked up. We had a conversation. Then I found the partner agent. I reached back out to the seller. This is contact number two. I texted them and they responded affirmatively. That sounds great. I'm open to meeting with you and this partner agent. Great. I conferred with the partner partner agent, got back to the seller third time, this is text number two, told them that the partner agent was working on a property valuation to understand why the property expired before and that we would be getting back to them. They responded, that sounds great. Now the partner agent told me that most likely the reason the property did not sell before was because it was very overpriced. Now I knew this news was not news that you wanted to deliver to the seller, somebody that I've never met before and has no connection to me over the phone. If we're going to deliver this message, we need to do so in person. I told the seller, you've got this great agent, we want to help you, but we'd love to meet with you in person. Can you meet at the partner agent's office? They said that sounds great. So I reached out to them a fifth time. This is phone call number three. They picked up. I confirmed the location of the meeting and the time of the meeting. Everything was set. They suggested that I text them the directions as opposed to emailing. So I did that. And then I had to circle back with them yet one other time when the time of the meeting changed. The reason I'm telling you this is because we communicated several times over the course of about two weeks. Now this seller was not super talkative. I'm pretty talkative and this particular person was not talkative. And that's okay because there's so many different personality types out there. When you're in the business world, you have to learn how to get along with all different types of people. And I, I say that because my connection with them was not like rock solid, like, you know, we had like a really good solid banter going, but they were responding to me, they were engaging, and they seemed like they were motivated to sell. And they were not going to use their previous agent. They had told me that. I thought all systems were go here. The day of the meeting, I go to the office, which is about 30 minutes from my home, to meet with the partner agent and the seller. I get there and the seller is not there. I exchange a few pleasantries with the partner agent and we wait a little while and the meeting time comes and they're still not there. I said, well, let me just give them a call, make sure they're not lost. I call the seller and like usual, they pick up the phone. I identify myself and then the line disconnects. Did they hang up on me or are they just in a place with bad service? I don't know, but I'm getting really nervous right now. I'm embarrassed because I've got this other seasoned agent here. I'm in their office. They've agreed to meet with the seller. It's not looking good at this moment. So I call them back. The call goes straight to voicemail. I'm like, oh my God, this is, this is not happening. This is not happening. I'm like seriously mortified right now. Just really embarrassed. I know it's not my fault per se, but it's like, I was really looking forward to this appointment because here I am, I'm going to sell land. I have a potential listing on the horizon, a co-listing, and the seller is just disappearing right before my eyes. I text them. Are you having a hard time finding it? You know, do you need directions? No response. 15 minutes go by, 20 minutes, about 25 minutes, and we firmly establish that we have a no-show on our hands. The partner agent was super nice. They've been in the business like 20 years. You're like, don't worry about it. This kind of stuff happens. I just felt really bad. They had set time aside on their calendar to meet with the seller. And 
Sellers and O-Show. And I kept, you know, racking my brain, like, how can somebody do this? I, mean, I personally feel horrible if I'm going to be like 10 minutes late to a hair appointment. You know, I'm going to call them. It's like, hey, I'm running late. I can't imagine standing somebody up for a business appointment. But then I'm thinking, okay, maybe they have some kind of emergency situation. But yet they picked up my call and didn't say anything about it. So at the end of the day, there's so many different people on this planet with different codes of conduct. And I'm guessing they just had a change of heart and they don't want to sell it right now. But instead of coming right out and telling me that or just telling me anything, they just completely turtled. They went under their shell and that's it. Like, I don't, I don't know what happened. So I was so disappointed. I drove home and I got my real estate partner on the phone and you know she was like don't worry about it it's okay and you know I was like yeah I know but I really could use another listing here and it was just it was just really really disappointing but I'm sharing this with you because as I preach to you and I had this in one of my uh, videos not too long ago we don't have the luxury of being down and analyzing what happened here we just don't because time equals money and I gave myself that 30 minute car ride home to think about it and wonder about it and be sad and disappointed and angry and all that. And I was like, okay, put it behind you. Let's get back on the phone. Let's start calling. Let's do what we need to do. And that's exactly what I did. The week progressed. And at the end of the week, I got my listing in contract for another seller. So I was super happy. So when that happened, I reached back out to the seller that stood me up and I said, Hey there, still haven't heard from you. Not sure what happened. Not sure why you didn't make our meeting, but I'm guessing you had a change of heart and no longer wish to sell. That's perfectly okay. Totally understand. If we can help you at any point in the future, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to do so. Have a great week. I mean, that's all I could do. I wanted to keep the lines of communication open. Will I ever hear from that seller again? I don't know. I really don't. I could see the, the listing with another agent at some point in the future. I don't know. But this is a roller coaster ride, this real estate industry. I feel like it's like the wild, wild west. You just never know what's going to happen. You're trying to create relationships with strangers so that you can earn money. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. But you just have to keep going. You have to stay strong up here. You have to believe in yourself here. You have to surround yourself with positive people. It was nice how, even though the week uh, was started off on a low note and ended up on a high note and that's that's just life in general and that's this real estate world that we're in I hope you guys enjoyed the story if you can relate please leave me a comment down below and I look forward to sharing more stories with you in future videos thanks for being here guys see you on the next one